So you're able to use a FHA loan for a property that needs renovation, and they're going to put the cost of that renovation in your loan. So you have one loan and you only pay three and a half percent down on it. Tap in Money Talk Mondays. Let's go. Yo, yo, what's going on? How y'all feeling today? It's your host, D. Saul, with another episode of the Money Talk Mondays podcast. What's going on in y'all world today? If y'all do me a favor, tag someone's name in the comments who needs to know this information. I'm about to talk about some easy ways to get into real estate. How y'all feeling? This video is sponsored to you by Credit Repair Hacks, one of the world's first AI digital credit repair software is you're able to repair your credit directly from your phone. Using my link, you can get this for $29 a month, guys. You can't beat it. How it works is you upload your credit report. It detects which items are negative. It recommends the best dispute reason. You select it all from your phone and it will send or create a full dispute letter based on how it's reporting on your credit report. And after that, if you need them to send it to the credit bureaus for you, it will do that. As you can get it for $29 a month using my link. That's Credit Repair Hacks. My partnership, you can get unlimited credit disputes for $29 a month. Let me leave my link like this video so it'll help the algorithm get it to more people i would definitely definitely appreciate that so in 2024 right now it's an amazing time to invest in real estate why because there's still not as many buyers as it was a few years ago back in 2020 back in 2021 you had a bunch of buyers searching for real estate so this caused sellers to increase their prices this caused bidding wars so if you was in that market in 2020 2021 you know how stressful it was to try to buy a home because it had so many buyers all looking for the same home but since the interest rate had went up a lot over the last couple of years there's been less buyers in the market which means the sellers don't have as many buyers to sell their property to okay so what this means is the buyers in the market right now they get better negotiation they get better prices they get better everything because sellers don't have many buyers to choose from and they need to sell so right now is a time where even though interest rates have been going down over the last several weeks the inventory is still a little slow right so you're able to get into real estate you're able to get closing costs paid you're able to get lower purchase prices in this market right now so investing into real estate is a good idea if you're in the market for that a lot of times back in the past people used to pay 20 percent down they'll get a property they'll put a tenant in it they'll charge them rent and that rent will pay for their mortgage right still a very solid way to get in real estate but guess what a lot of people don't really have 20 to 25 percent down to pay right off the bat those days are long gone now they have a bunch of creative ways that you can actually get into real estate one of the first ways is using the fha loan a fha loan you're able to pay three and a half percent down that means you only pay 3.5 percent down on your down payment right to purchase the home and you're able to rent that property out rent the other side of that property out okay so how this will work is let's say i see a duplex it has two units right i can use a fha loan right only pay three and a half percent down stay in one unit and rent that other side right if your rent is right that rent could potentially pay that entire mortgage you can be living rent free using an fha loan a fha loan the minimum requirement is a 580 credit score but typically the best approvals begin with people having a 620 or a 640 credit score right i always strive to tell my buyers to get at least a 620 for the best approvals okay so you can use this fha loan right pay only three and a half percent down and get you an investment property right a lot of my buyers what they do is they buy a fha they stay in it for a year rent out the other side and then they refinance it into another loan put another tenant in the side that they were staying in now they have two cash flow rents coming in each month and then they go buy another property using the fha loan right and they repeat this process for five or six years next thing they know they have six properties six or seven units and all of them are cash flowing them rent every single month using that FHA loan. The benefit is literally because you're only paying three and a half percent down, 
right? As I mentioned earlier, a lot of investors in the past will pay 20 or 25 percent down. OK, you don't no longer have to do that. You can do a FHA loan and only pay three and a half percent down. Right. You put a tenant on the other side and that tenant could potentially pay for your mortgage. In that same instance, they have a conventional loan product now where you can use that same strategy with the FHA I just mentioned and use it with a conventional loan and only pay five percent down. Now, why is this important is because certain properties with FHA, it won't get approved, right? FHA is a government-backed loan, and sometimes the, they have a bunch of restrictions on the properties. You can't have it a certain way, certain damages they won't approve, and just a bunch of stipulations. Some people like to bypass all of those FHA guidelines and go the conventional route, okay? And now you can use a conventional loan to purchase a property with 5% down. Now, it has to be owner-occupied, right? So, that means you have to stay in it, but you can use a conventional loan and only pay 5% down and get into an investment property, right? A lot of people are not aware of this information, right? It may be a property that you tried to buy a few months ago and it didn't pass FHA inspections. Well, guess what? Now you're able to use a conventional loan, only pay 5% down and still get your investment property. You're going to have a quicker closing time. You got less requirements. You got less stipulations. You can pretty much pay your down payment, go through your normal home buying process. And voila, you have a fully functional investment property and only pay 5% down. Those days of paying 20 to 25% down only they don't exist anymore. You can pay 5% down with the conventional loan. Okay, we're going to be talking about the FHA 203K loan next. I had a buyer close on this loan last year, actually. And how an FHA 203K loan works is it's just like an FHA, so you're only paying 3.5% down. But now if it's a property that's blighted or if a property that's been damaged and need renovations, the FHA will allow you to include the renovation costs in your loan. Now, this is huge. So you're able to use a FHA loan for a property that needs renovation, and they're going to put the cost of that renovation in your loan. So you have one loan and you only pay three and a half percent down on it. Now, it takes it a little bit to close because you have to get the property repaired before you close on it. And you have to go through a list of FHA approved contractors in your area so the contractor that's going to do the renovations have to be approved with fha and you can use the fha loan and only pay three and a half percent down and get an investment property that way guys it's, i mean you you can't beat that you can't beat that you find you a double a duplex a triplex right price is right on it you only paying three and a half percent down right that FHA 203k loan is going to fund your renovation costs. They're going to bake it into the loan and you're only paying three and a half percent down. If you have any questions about how to use that, slide in my DMs and I'll let you know exactly how we can take advantage of that. Same FHA requirements. You have to have a 580 credit score. Um, they're going to check your DTI and they're going to make sure um, your income is good. But yes, you can use a FHA 203K loan and buy a property with your renovation costs included, guys. You can't beat that. Easy ways to get into real estate, y'all. I got two more for y'all and we're going to rock on out of here. We're going to be talking about the DSCR loan program next. Now, have you ever thought about getting into a property when they don't even verify your employment? right? They do not look at your income for this DSCR loan program. This is perfect for people that are self-employed, that doesn't file their taxes. This is perfect for people who are freelancers and work different types of jobs. They may be 1099 here one day, doing this one day. They got plenty of money coming in, but they don't have a steady job. There's no employment verification with this product. OK, so let's go through some of the highlights. You need a minimum credit score of 620. Right. The max loan amount is two point five million. Right. It's an 80 percent max loan to value ratio. They're going to look at your housing history and they're going to look at uh, your primary residence. As I mentioned, no employment information is required. Pretty good product. Right. It's a good product because you got certain people that work odd jobs. They're not consistent with a job. 
right? You may be self-employed, not filing your taxes correctly, right? Anybody that makes pretty good money, but can't really prove it in a way, that's what this product is for, right? You need a 620 credit score. They're not going to verify your income and you can get into investment properties this way. And a lot of times they'll look at the deal. They'll look at how much cash flow is going to bring in. And that's how they'll determine your interest rate and your down payment, I think, as well. So the DSCR loan product, guys, if you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. And the last but one of the most popular ones as of recent is Airbnb, right? You're able to use the property that you already have as an investment property, right? What you're going to do is you're going to rent this thing out to people that's visiting your city. So if you live in a popular city, such as Atlanta, such as New Orleans, Houston, Dallas, Miami, Orlando, Florida, you can use an Airbnb. That's the property that you already own, right? And if you don't own a property, let's say you are renting a property right now. You're renting an apartment, right? If you can stay in that property that you're renting, you just go buy a property with the same FHA that I talked about earlier, right? And you can have that property on Airbnb, right? In a super, super creative way, like for my travel nurses. If you're a travel nurse and you're always going on assignment and you don't own a property, you really should be in my DMs, right? You should be in my DMs because what I've been doing for my travel nurses recently is getting them into the Airbnb game, okay? They're gonna buy an investment property or a single family home Right. And they're going to rent that thing out while they're gone on assignment. Right. You're gone making the big bucks on assignment and you're making money in your investment property as well. OK, if you use it as Airbnb, if you know you're going to be at home at this time next month, you can just block those dates out and you have a place to stay in when you get home. And each time you leave is bringing in you more and more cash to rent. So if you're gone on assignment, that means you're gone, right? A lot of times the employers are paying for you to stay somewhere. So they're paying for your hotel, they're paying for wherever you're going, or they're giving you a stipend or some kind of money, right? So you're getting money to stay wherever you are. And if you are smart, you can have an investment property back home collecting cash all while you're gone. Okay. So you're going on assignment and you can use Airbnb. And if you don't want people in your personal space while you're going on assignment, that's fine too. You can still use a FHA loan and buy a duplex or a triplex. Okay. You can have your side, just regular standard. It can be your property. Nobody touches it while you're gone. And that other unit, you can be renting it out. I work with travel nurses that buy duplexes from me all the time. Right. What some of them do is they'll put their property up for Airbnb. Right. So they have it rented out each week, different guests, or they will use the FHA loan and stay in one side and Airbnb the other side. Another thing that they'll do is they'll continue staying with their mom. You can continue staying with your parents or your friends or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, and you can buy that property and have all units rented out on Airbnb. You know, if you're not sure whether you want a long term tenant or a short term tenant or not, you can buy a duplex, rent out one side with a traditional tenant on a 12 month lease or so and Airbnb the other side. You can do that for a year and see which brings you more cash, which strategy are you most comfortable with. You can do that as a travel nurse. And that's going to be a wrap for today, man. I appreciate y'all joining in. Just wanted to hop in and talk about some easy, quick ways to get into real estate. Please consider subscribing and catch up on all of my recent episodes. I talk about all things money. I talk about getting into real estate, such as I did today. I talk about fixing your credit. I talk about how to use AI to make some money. I talk about all of those things on my podcast. So do me a favor and go catch up on my episodes. And while you're there, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch a lot of my videos, my podcast videos on YouTube. And the last thing, man, I, I wrote a book a couple of years ago, How I Fix My Own Credit in Six Months. It's a comprehensive credit repair guide. What happened was I lost an opportunity for a job that I've been wanting for a long time a couple of years ago. Right. This forced me to learn about credit. And as y'all know, I used to have a credit repair business. So what I did, I put all of my credit repair secrets that I use in my business. I put it in this book and it's available for $9.99, guys. I would definitely appreciate your support. I talked about my journey with credit. 
I talked about, you know, what happened with the job. And I go through in very detail on ways I use to build my credit. And I built thousands and thousands and thousands of other clients credit as well using those same tactics in that book. How I fixed my own credit in six months. I appreciate your support. The book is only $9.99. 10% of each copy sold will go directly to me teaching financial literacy to the high school. So I definitely would appreciate y'all's support. Until the next time, guys, peace, love, and light to your life. I hope you had a great day. I hope you have an even better day tomorrow. Peace. I was beat. I was beat.